You will be hearing semiotic art analysis from the group 1 of BE Ed 1A. Listen and take note of the important points or you will be eliminated. How do we interpret this? Meme is bored. Meme is tired. Meme is taking a selfie. Meme is eating ramen. But how do we know that? It is a job for semiotics, the field of study that explores how humans and other organisms derive meaning from the world around them. In semiotics, a sign is anything that represents or indicates something else, called the object. A sign isn't necessarily pictorial, for example. Sweating indicates a hot temperature, and the sound of buzzing may mean that there is a bee around. Ferdinand the Social, the other founder of semiotics, saw signs as the basic unit of meaning and he defined two parts of signs, which are signifier and signified. Signifier is the form of a sign, the form might be a sound, a word, a photograph, etc. Signified is the concept or object that's represented. Charles Sanders Fears defined three categories of sign, which are icon, index, and symbol, based on how the sign is related to the object. An icon directly resembles the object. It shares tangible qualities with the object. The first cop as a symbol indicates a cop. The second one is a map of Cebu, represents Cebu. The third one represents a trash bin. And lastly, is an icon of a male or a man. Index. An index has an implied association with the object. The sign and object are connected in a logical way. An index is a sign that shows evidence of the concept or object being represented. An index doesn't resemble the object or concept being represented. Instead, it resembles something that implies the object or concept. Smoke, fire, growling stomach, hunger, skull, poison, sunglasses and cane, blind. Symbol. A symbol is not inherently connected to the object. Instead, the connection is a matter of convention within a particular society. Because their meanings must be explicitly taught, symbols are easily misunderstood. Here are the symbol examples. A broken line on the road means you may change planes if it is safe to do so. This counterclockwise rotation of an arrow symbolizes a new. This is a symbol for female or woman. This symbol indicates that overtaking is strictly prohibited. Semiotics in art. Animators and illustrators also need semiotics to understand how their work will be interpreted by audiences. While some depictions of emotions are based on natural and universal facial expressions, others are symbolic and only make sense to certain audiences. As you can see, this imagery is commonly known as the praying gesture imagery. Some also argue that this is a high five imagery. In Japanese culture, the emoji is used to express a feeling of gratitude and refers to itadakimasu which is commonly said before eating one's meal. Whether you're a fish looking for food or a student looking for the library, interpreting signs is an essential part of everyday life. Knowing more about how we make meaning from the world around us will help us be a better communicators and creators.